Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenru, and today we are playing Byzantium in Europe Universalis 4. We are going to start a war with France as soon as we have our claim. We're at 72%. They're not busy in anything. They're not, they're not doing anything, so they have full manpower, full army. And look at that. They're actually over their limit by a lot. Wow. They're over their limit by 70 troops. But it doesn't seem to bother them. I bet they still have a strong economy. Show me your treasury. Well, we've got 30 grand, but France has 283 ducats a month, and they have 300 ducats sitting around. So they can definitely handle a big army. Wow, we have more ideas than anyone? No, no, no. Castile has more ideas than us. Wow, okay. Technologies? We are not on the first page. Ugh. Yeah, we're behind in tech. There we go. We have 75 techs. We are 10 techs behind. But... What do you expect, man? We started Eastern, and we Westernized very late. Uh, next level, we're going to get new units, so we're definitely going to get that at least during the war with France. We don't have to fight them yet. Most likely, they have a lot of units that are trapped overseas, and they probably don't have a buttload of transport units. Let's see, where's navies? So biggest navy goes to us, but it's not really a good navy. Yeah, they only have 26 transports, so they can only transport 26 units at a time, which is not scary, you know? We just have to make sure we go there, smash the units, and then wait for them to go transport 26 more. Uh, they may just walk through Europe to come to us. I'm sure they have access rights at random places. Uh, yes, they have access through... Oh, they have access through us. Oh. But yeah, they can walk right through Bohemia and Denmark and Styria. So they can just they can easily just come to us right through this little corridor through uh, the Alps. They can come right to us. And my vassal is not going to be very useful for that. It's too bad Bohemia and Denmark would not join us in a war against France. It just doesn't work that way, right? I wonder if we declare war on Saxe Lauenburg. Would that mean we could get Bohemia and Denmark to join on our side? That would be amazing. Ah, I can't do it because we are allied with the Emperor in a war. Bohemia is the Emperor, and we're allied with them, so we can't declare war on a member. And that's France's only other ally. Yeah, so it's just not possible. Oh well, that's okay. So we're just waiting for that claim to come in, then we'll declare war. We're going to bring all of our units home because just the manpower, it's a pain in the butt. We've lost 80k manpower in this war. Uh, you know what we should do? Let's do some buildings. Armories would be amazing just to get some uh, extra manpower coming, but I guess we're just not gonna. Not gonna do it. You little bastards. Let's go. Most likely, France is going to drop off troops somewhere here in the Levant, or maybe in India. It depends where their transport ships are. Talking about ships, we should probably dock up all of our trade ships, or else France will just slaughter them. But I'll have to remember to do that. <laughs> I'm pretty bad at remembering things. So what's our score on Russia? Oh, we can't even check right now. All of our Diplos are busy. Yeah, this is going to cause some war exhaustion, so that sucks. I'll have to deal with it though. Can bulb our yeah, more espionage. I really want to get infiltrate administration. I know it's towards the end of the game here, but infiltrate administration was something from EU3 that was just amazingly good. Alright, we got a claim on France. Great. Someone's at war with the Timurids, no one cares. Our manpower is already going back up. It's up another 15k already. <laughs> it's amazing. 
but when you're... yeah. Actually, War Exhaustion's not bad. I'm surprised. I'm doing pretty good on War Exhaustion. Alright, keep coming home. This is our war currently. It's just a bunch of little small nations and then Russia. Nothing amazing. But that war will expand right now. So they're allied with Denmark, Bohemia, Saxa Lauenburg, Russia. None of that matters because the only one who can join. Actually, they rule over Modena. No, oh, they're in the Empire, never mind. Yeah, it doesn't matter because Denmark and Bohemia are both allied with us in a war right now. No, Denmark peaced out? <gasps> Denmark peaced out? No fucking way. Denmark peaced out. You separate piecing son of a bitch. Well, Denmark's not really a threat because they have so many rebels right now. But their navy's going to be a dick. Oh, god damn it. We waited too long. We waited too long. Denmark. Denmark, will you join us in a war against uh, the Livonian Order? No. Will you join us in a war against the Teutonic Order? No. Damn it, Denmark, why did you peace out? What the fuck is wrong with you? Will you join us in a war against the Ukraine? No. Will you join us in a war against Pomerderpia? Oh, what? Oh, it's peace deal. Never mind. We're already at war with them. Uh, Magdeburg? Damn it. Damn it, Denmark. You know what? They're useless, though. Whoa, Britain's in a union under Castile? It happened two years ago and I didn't notice? Wow. 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 <laughs> okay, then. Actually, my goodness. No, oh, but they're threatened. If they're threatened, they won't join our war. Fuck me. I was just thinking we could get Castile to join the war against France. Nah, whatever. It's going to be against Denmark as well. That's disappointing. You know what? Let's break this marriage first. Still got positive stability. Oh, man. I was worried that uh, someone might peace out, and Denmark went ahead and did. You little dicks. What the fuck, Denmark? Seriously. Why you gotta be such a dick? I guess it doesn't matter. He's falling apart internally. Alright. Screw you, Denmark. I hate you so much. You little penis. So, Russia can't join, Bohemia can't join, Denmark will join against us, guaranteed. Because um, they don't like us that much. They like France a lot more. Yeah, France is at 133. We're only at uh, 89. What are you going to do? Okay, start the war. Nobody's going to join. Don't care. All my vassals will join. My vassals still love me. Yes, they do. Wow, 80 dudes standing there. Isn't that a little extreme? Extreme standing. So let's see what France does. Most likely they're just going to walk through that little corridor. Oh, that's right. We need to dock up our boats. Let's go do that. All the boats need to dock up. Yep, Denmark joined. Damn it, Denmark, you suck. You really suck, Denmark. Really, really, really suck. Anyway, just go dock up. Just dock up. We don't have the Navy to deal with them. And it would be free war score if we uh, 
Just let our navies just wander around. So no free war score. Dock up. I think that's all of our navies. Nope, there's another one. Stay docked. Okay, good. Our navies are secure. Uh, take off, hunt rebels. Keep you... We'll group up some armies here in the Levant. Uh, you guys can also join. Let's come on over here. Uh, you can stay in Imereti, and we'll have the rest of our armies over here. Should be good to go. We'll see what they do. Our king died. Oh, fantastic. That's That's what I wanted. I guess it's okay. He's pretty good. 443. And his air is not that good. That's okay though. Bump stability. We don't have the we don't have the admin to bump stability up. Well that sucks. Stupid Denmark joining against us. You asshole. Really, what an asshole. So where's your death stacks, France? There it is, 52. Level 28 tech, same as mine. Okay, people suggesting I should become Defender of the Faith. I agree, now's a good time to do that. We're gonna get a morale bonus. It's gonna make uh, our technology cost a little more, but who cares? At the end of the day, it's gonna be so worth it. And so he's down here at 30, okay. Yeah, I don't really see a whole lot of threat over here. Uh, this is going to be the main threat. I, I assume Denmark will send some armies down. Keep grouping up, boys. Twenty-two-year-old king, kind of young. Russia wants out of the war. Understandable. Okay, it's been more than 60 days. Okay, good. So we can peace out Russia. Uh, we have 80% on Russia. We can make them spit out some people. We can't make them return any cores to anyone because no one has any. I can make him revoke a core on Saratov. That's fine. Uh, spit out... Spit out Muscovy? Now oh, they'd be so broken up. Spit out Crimea? He won't? Are you joking? He won't even do a 50% war score. No, no, no. Well, then I'm just going to finish sieging you up. Because you got nothing on me. You got nothing on me. King Kong ain't got nothing on me. That's right. I can't believe he won't even do a 50% war score deal. I'm a little worried about these guys. Because Denmark could come down that, air, down that way. Level 7 fort. That's going to take you a long time. Is that negative 98? <laughs> Good luck. Uh, yeah. Improve relations with everyone. Good. Come on home. So this is going to be, well, let's peace out Russia and then we can take a look at what our war is going to look like. Because right now it's just a mess. Hey, these guys are going to flip to my, come on, flip to my vassal. Flip to my vassal. They are Belarusian patriots. Flip to my vassal. Do it. Do it now. And he, yes, he is. He is going to go to Grodno. Good. Then he might be able to flip both. Can I declare war in the meantime? Yes. And then I can kill his armies. But no, then my vassals would kill the rebels. Damn it, vassals. Moscow fell. Good. Oh, that's my alarm. Sorry about that. Archangels, very good. One more province, we should have 100% on Russia. What do we have right now? 95%. Oh, they will do that. Okay. Man, they are stingy, though. It says Russian military strength minus 74. You don't have a military strength. You have no army. But apparently that's minus 74 to our negotiations. That's weird. The negotiating table is a weird place in this game. Yeah. 
Come on, finish up that tile. There we go, 100%. Now what? Okay, now he has zero negotiating ability. So, one second ago, it said he had negative 74 because he had a huge army. He doesn't have any army. I don't know what they're talking about. Anywho, let's make him release some junk. Crimea, I think that'd be good. We should be able to vassalize Crimea. Why is that worth 50% war score? That's crazy. What's the cheapest? Pskov. It's only one tile. Nizhny, one tile. Riga. Riga's two tiles. I think that's worth doing. Kazan is, is three tiles. Smolensk is four tiles. Oh yeah, that's nice. We should be able to vassalize all that shit. So let's do that. And some dollars. I like dollars. Alright, fuck you Russia. Uh, eight out of eight. Should be able to work. Yeah, they're the right religion and everything. Riga's the wrong religion and they're the wrong type of government. So just fuck Riga. Just pretend they don't exist. And let's work on Smolensk. Oh yeah, they want to vassalize. Kazan, oh yeah, they all want to vassalize. This is good. Alright. Any battles going to happen soon? No. Not really. His armies are doing whatever they're going to do. He's got 105 guys just chilling over there. So essentially it's up to us. The onus is on us to invade, and I guess we'll go invade Italy. Because he's just standing around doing nothing. Fine, get me some access, please. See, last time he declared war on us, so that means the onus was on him. He had to go invade us, but now we're declaring war on him, so we have to go invade. That's fine. Okay, why don't you guys come to Vienna? I don't need all of you there, but I guess... Uh, no, that's too many guys. No, it's not. <laughs> go to Sopron. Ooh. Supply limit is pretty good, but not great. Uh, sure. And Imereti army as well. Now, I do have some idiots who are still up. Oh, that's right, we're still at war with Poland. <laughs> Forgot about that one. You guys are in fleeing mode, that's fine. Come to... Probably go to Lika. And we'll see what we have over there. We're going to keep these guys here. Um, no reason to move them around just yet. We might need them, but I don't know. I guess we'll move them over here to whatever. We might need to get across to Constantinople at some point. I'm kind of leaving this shit unprotected. I think what we'll do is we'll split in half, and you guys can do there. Oh, no, no, you guys can patrol there, and these other guys can patrol from, maybe from Mocha? Something like that. And then we have to go invade Italy. Alright, so let's peace out these idiots. Who's still in that war? Switzerland, Pomerania, Austria, wow, just lots of random people. Alright, peace time. I don't really want you as a vassal, although I would like it. I just... Ugh, we're going to have so many vassals. And we can't start annexing anyone until we get out of all these wars. So... Uh, we can't even make him do anything. Hmm. Let's just convert him. Good. Poland, you are now my religion. Our army isn't so grand. Okay. Let's put the speed down to three, and let's keep on marching over. So we have a bigger army, but we also have a lot more manpower. Battles don't matter. Yeah, the only thing that matters right now is conquering that one province of Salento. 
It's a uh, level 2 fort, so that's good for us. He's actually trying to conquer Rome, which is fucking hilarious. I wish I had infiltrate administration, uh, but we don't. <laughs> that is 2 away, so it's, we need 400 admin points to infiltrate, infiltrate his administration. Then we can see where his armies are doing. Rebels have crossed the border. That's fine. They don't know what they're doing. Those are crazy-ass rebels. They're out of their goddamn minds. Don't want an alliance, but you will later. So let's get relations up. And we'll do the same with Kazan. Should be able to vassalize them both pretty easily. At least I hope so. Alright, you're in Varasad. That's fine. How much until we can tech up? 570. It's going to be a little while. But we do have a level 3 guy, so that's good. Yeah, there's nobody for morale, unfortunately. So he's got 44 guys here. That's great. Uh, we can't see anywhere else, unfortunately. We can see through Bohemia, but that's about it. Oh, these rebels are not performing like they should. Oh well. A lot of guys just chilling here. I guess it's fine. The tile can handle a lot more. Uh, let's group them up and put half across the sea. Okay, and that's pretty much all of our armies. At least all the ones that are going to be fighting. And yeah, Denmark is still collapsing. I wonder if we can just piece them out. Probably can. Because they just have rebel problems everywhere, and it's not going to go away. They're still at war. Oh, they're at war with us. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Oh, here we go. He's sending a little army to chase my vassal around. Interesting. I'm wondering if I should waste a, a diplomatic ability so we can walk through freely. Probably be, would be helpful. We'll see where he does, though. If he's coming to Gores, that's fine. 9th of September. Can I get a general over there? Oh my god, you're a weird, weirdly stacked unit. Oh, there we go. That's what we need. Split in half. Split in half. And yeah, we'll switch your general out. Put him in here. Good speed. Should be able to go in there and kill him in Gores. He's arriving on the 9th. Six, seven, eight. Kill him. And he's he's gonna be trapped there. It's good. We actually have more morale than France does. He has better discipline. But we have equal tactics, but he we have more morale. I like that. Kill him dead. Come on, smash his stack. Good. Dead army is dead. If we can do that a few times, I'll be happy. And he's taking attrition down here and in Rome. I like that. Keep an eye on his manpower. It's at 130 right now. Come over here again. Nice. <laughs> That's a little weird. Why is he coming here again when it's just going to end the same way? I don't know. 
gain manpower and admin points or gain more admin points. I think we have tons of manpower. Just give me the raw admin points. I would love to get infiltrate administration going. Okay, we have a lot of motherfuckers right here on this border. And we have a backup 88k here. I guess we don't need, need to really stay back, do we? Um... What? Francis walking through Gojum? Oh, he came up from South Africa, probably. Interesting. Oh, my, my hunt rebels are going nuts, aren't they? That's okay. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and move. Um, how close is he to the next tech? He's not there yet. The next tech's going to be good because it's going to be a change in unit type. Now let's go to Modena. Go to Friuli. And we'll just wait on the others. Oh, free diplomats. Good. Uh, relations, Kazan... Plotsk still likes us. Styria is pretty happy with us. Might as well get relations, though. Alright, that's pretty advanced along. Let's go to Mantua and Verona. Alright, he's running away. I like that. attack. Met in the grasslands. Nice. Mm, I think we will go ahead and get this just so we can have ease, at, ease of access around this area or else it's going to be just a real pain in the dick. No one likes pain in the deck, right? Uh, why don't you guys come to Verona? You guys go to Trevizo. You know what, though? We do need to end this episode, so I'd like to thank you guys for joining me here today. I have been Shen, you have been you, and I think uh, this army is going to go kill that stack in Rome. And then we'll come down here, we'll get our war goal, and we'll start sieging up all of Italy. See you guys next time. Have a good day.